All right, some new questions already today concerning President Obama's pick for National Intelligence Director. He is James Clapper, and critics say he's the wrong choice to fix the problems in the intel community. My next guest has issues with this appointment, Congressman Pete Hoekstra out of Michigan, the ranking Republican member of the House Intelligence Committee, and welcome back here to America's Newsroom. What's wrong with Clapper? Well, I think uh, yeah, General Clapper has a record. What I was hoping the president was going to do was pick an individual to be the next director of national intelligence who would continue to build strong relationships with Congress. I mean, this is a very, very tough job. We were trying to address a very, very tough problem of, you know, of attacking and containing radical jihadists. We need this partnership between Congress and the president. Jim Clapper has a reputation and a history of not having a very good working relationship with Congress. Is that your biggest objection? Because at I, one point you say he puts the nation at risk. Well, I mean, that's does. a strong indictment. It is. I mean, if, uh, if we've got a director of national intelligence who cannot work with Congress, because we know we're going to have to continue to evolve our strategies and our tactics as we try to confront and defeat radical jihadists. That calls for a strong partnership. If we don't have that strong partnership between the Director of National Intelligence and Congress, we will not be flexible and we will not be able to respond very, very quickly to changes that need to be made, and that does put the country at risk. But yes. the, the White House would argue they have bipartisan support for this man. Uh, they put out Joe Lieberman's name. Uh, they put out Robert Gates. They say he's a big fan. Who's against him in a bipartisan way? Well, I think uh, it was very clear when this name was first floated uh, a week, ten days ago. Uh, the leaders of the Senate Intelligence Committee, people who know Jim Clapper very well and know how he does or does not work with Congress, Diane Feinstein, Kit Bond, Republican and a Democrat said that they had concerns about Jim Clapper. So I think there's bipartisan opposition, especially from the people who know him best in the job that he currently serves in. Give me a better sense of, of that relationship that you're now describing with, with Congress. D does he stonewall members like yourself? Uh, absolutely. We've asked for information repeatedly from uh, Defense Intelligence Agency, the organization that he now heads. Uh, he's made it difficult, sometimes not impossible, to get the kinds of information that Congress needs to do its effective oversight, but also that we need to develop effective strategies to defeat the threats that we face you, today. You know what the president says about that same thing? He says that he will tell leaders not what they want to hear, but what they need to hear. You're, you're suggesting exactly the opposite. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting he may not tell us anything. I don't mind being told what the reality is and what truth is. That's exactly what uh, we've always had. Uh, the previous directors of national intelligence, you know, uh, Admiral Blair. I mean, he was very, very good at building a, a structured relationship with Congress. You'll remember he said a lot of things that maybe the president didn't want him to tell us, uh, but that were the truth. It was only mm -hmm. in February that he said America will be t attacked within the next three to six months. Admiral Blair was very, very direct, very, very open with Congress. It was the kind of relationship that I thought and was hoping that the president would build on. Well, Leon Blair, Panetta at the CIA has done exactly the same thing. Uh, Blair is out now. And yep. With regard to the arrests in New Jersey over the weekend, these two men who were headed for jihad, eventually in Somalia, yep. we believe, uh, uh, under Clapper, how would these arrests change? Would they at all? Well, again, I'm not sure that they would change, but I think what will happen on this is, you know, the arrest a couple of weeks ago in Texas, now the arrests in New Jersey. Uh, what it's telling us that the threat is evolving. You know, we had the Times Square bombing, we had the Christmas Day attack, we had Fort Hood. Radical jihadists are changing their tactics. America's going to need to respond. Our intelligence is going to need to respond. That means we need a unified effort between an administration and Congress to make sure that we continue to stay on our toes and make the changes that are necessary. The okay. only way that happens is if we have close collaboration. I'm concerned we will not have that with Jim Clapper. Pete Oakstra, we're out of time. Thank you for your time. Great, this thank you. On a Monday. We'll bring